This bang action though, it's not cute. <laughs> Sometimes in our lives, what is this? we all have pain. Like, riding on the Google bus, being like, uh, talk about what it's like to ride on the Google bus. And then I thought that there was one topic that was more important than talking about what it's like to ride on a Google bus, and that is the elections of 2016 in the U.S. But if we are wise, we First of all, I just want to say that I was so excited to have a woman as president. Like, it is so important to me. I'm, like, excited to see different colored suits worn by the president of the United States. All those dreams are crushed now. <sighs> In terms of this election, which happened like a week ago, I dealt with it by not dealing with it. I didn't go on Facebook. I tried to stay away from all news. It pissed me off a lot. On one part, that's what happens when I've invested so much into something and it doesn't work out the way that it does. Like, it's a race. It's like a competition, two sides. One's going to be a winner, one's going to be a loser, sort of. And if I'm on the team that ends up losing, of course, I'm going to be upset. I just wanted to talk about my reactions as well as what I processed. And in terms of my reactions, first off the bat was just disbelief. I Because, I mean, going back one week ago, I remember going to work wearing my Make America Native Again hat. I was just so excited to have a woman president. I didn't think that anything else was going to happen. And I think that this really killed me because I was not prepared. At the beginning of the night, it was 80% Hillary was going to win. And then by the end of the night, I've like cried twice, if not three times. And Trump is like 80, the 80%. Even if I had a thought of it in my mind, I really just didn't want that to be the reality. Um, other than disbelief, <laughs> I was just extremely disappointed. First disappointment was as I was looking at the news and accepting what was happening one thing that got me hardest was I kept thinking to how my dad had expressed his concern he was if Arnold could be governor of California do you think that Trump can be president and he said it as though he was very, very scared that it was going to happen. And I just reassured him. I was like, no, it's not. There's like, I just got so excited about Hillary becoming president that I, I kind of just ruled it out. And when I found out that Trump was winning, I just thought back to my dad. How sad it would be for him that, like, these fears are becoming reality. They are reality now. Also... From the things that I know and heard about Trump, the things that he said I find really despicable. The fact that he just says whatever he thinks and it happens to be really disrespectful is not tolerable. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Kudos for being honest, but you need to fix your ways like right now. Um, but the fact that he doesn't even think that it's wrong to say and he's being honest, just, I can't. <laughs> I think my last final disappointment is the people who voted for Trump. The people who voted for Trump disregarded all of the negative things about him. And all of these negative things about him, to me, is unbearable. And I try to switch up my thinking trying to put myself in other people's shoes like maybe those people think about like Hillary the same way where it's like everything that Hillary has said is unbearable to them they feel like personally threatened and I don't think that's true so I can't really make the argument for the opposite stance so the people who supported Trump disregard these despicable things that he said and I, I mean, I've heard it from other people as well. Like, those people who supported Trump don't care about people like me, apparently. Like, I've heard that people who support Trump aren't racists. They're just doing it for economic reasons. They don't trust the system. But the thing is, is that 
the guy that they supported, he doesn't think anything of people like me, people that I care about. How can you put somebody in power who wants to hurt other people or who have no regard for their lives, if we are for their well-being? We know that there's always tomorrow. Uh,